Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for those of you who don't know, Dr. Witnesser is somebody who used to. I don't know if he does anymore because he was banned off Twitch. But he used to go on Fortnite and he would be like, hey, God. he would uh, try to educate people on religion, on, on Christianity, which is totally fine. That's pretty cool. Um, of, he was also, but he was a little too aggressive. And the other day I came across a tweet that he removed where he was like, oh, guys, um... I'm suing Twitch for pulling me down and banning me. Now, the reason he got banned, though, is this video here, which we're going to watch. Uh, you g Give a listen to the way he talks to this, like, like maybe 13-year-old Muslim child. Believing that Jesus isn't the Son of God, you're denying every other scripture before that has ever happened and saying that it's not true. Who, me? Anybody. Anybody who sits there and says Jesus is not the Son of God, because what I'm saying is you're denying what Scripture says. You're st denying the hundreds <coughs> of prophecies that were fulfilled through Jesus. Yeah, well, I'm denying that because usually we, um, what you're talking about since you're American and Christian, since the Muslim culture, we don't really talk about that. Yeah, you don't it's talk about it because they don't want to believe it. That's why. I just want to say this kid is being like super respectful and he's like oh I have you know like you have a culture and your belief set and like we have our culture and our belief set culture, we have, we've been different, like, different things through America and Christians and hey, 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 forget, the, forget the fact that it's America dude it's just the, the Christianity in general it doesn't matter that I'm in America he's getting so angry at a kid like this is a kid he's like oh, it doesn't matter you don't love Jesus that's what his whole in Christianity yeah, is all over the world good. Okay. So look, if you were to die in your sins today, you would be sentenced to hell. And God, the living God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God that created the earth in six days and rested on the seventh, he is telling you that the only way to heaven is by turning from your sins and trusting in his son who died for your sins. That's what God teaches. So yeah, that was pretty aggressive. Uh, you know, and like, listen, it's a kid, you know? So like, it was it was it was definitely stern. I don't know if it was like super aggressive. The Christianity in it was, general it doesn't matter that I'm it was definitely stern. But he told a kid he's gonna go to hell because he's not because he's Muslim basically because he's not Christian. So it's kind of fucked up, and it removes like the intelligence from the conversation. And so that's what Doctor Witnesser did. That's why he got banned off of Twitch. It was too much. Um. Of course, but he made, I, I guess he just made this. I just saw the other day that, like, what, whatever video. Uh, but he made this video to the Muslim kid. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just feel like... I feel like it's just not a nice way. Um, I just feel like it's like a shitty... I don't know. It feels too aggressive. To me. Maybe I'm just reading it that way, but to the Muslim kid. <laughs> That's kind of how I read it more than anything else. But uh, here's his video here. He makes an apology after months of, of this. And he labeled it, Dr. Witnesser says he's sorry to Muslim kid. That's the kid's name, apparently. Muslim kid. Uh, is he really suing Twitch? End of preaching in games? Oh, well, this is super clickbaity. What the fuck? Um, let's, let's play this. At what? On Monday, a horrifying clip from... What the fuck just happened? Did I okay. That guy's annoying as hell. All right, so let's uh, play this. Did I tell a Muslim kid he was going to hell? Yes and no. Do I regret it? Yes and no. <laughs> well, this is already isn't an apology. I, I feel like you did. You Yes, you said yes. And then also, oof, just let me explain. Oh, God, what did I get myself into? My name's Dr. Winister. I'm a YouTuber. I'm an ex-Twitch streamer. And if you search up Dr. Winister on Google, you're going to find a few things. One is Twitch streamer Dr. Winister, who was banned for preaching Christianity in Fortnite, is now suing Twitch. Twitch yes. indefinitely bans you, Christian streamer for a hate. You literally Christian said you were doing that. Suing Twitch after ban, claiming religious discri discrimination. Christian streamer suing Twitch after ban, claiming religious discrimination. Streamer banned for yelling, you are going to hell at Muslim kid during his live stream. These are just a few of the things that you'll find on Google. You go to YouTube and search up Dr. Winister, you'll see a lot more. I'm here to clear the air I did. and what really happened, why I said it, and am I sorry. So around April of 2020, I started streaming on Twitch. Was that like a year ago? Teaching people about oh. the gospel. I preached it to atheists, agnostics, Christians, and yes, Muslims. One of these such incidents was recorded by a man on Twitter named Chelsea Hardwood. 
They record the incident via their cell phone while they were watching my stream. And here's the clip. Okay. The one I'm most famous for, unfortunately. Oh, so we have not Believing that Jesus isn't the Son of God, you're denying every other scripture before that has ever happened and saying that it's not true. All right, we watched. We, I mean, I didn't know he was going to include it in this video, so anyway, like, what the hell? Jesus fuck me, right? What I'm saying is you're denying what scripture says. You're denying the hundreds of prophecies. All right. Living God. Do with the stuff of the. Is by turning from your sins. Let's see if he says go to hell. Who died for your sins. That's what God teaches. Now, some people think this is the clip that got me suspended permanently off of the Twitch platform, uh, which I have yes. been permanently suspended off the of Twitch platform after getting three suspensions. The third one is what <laughs> led to my indefinite suspension. Oh, so this isn't even the first time that you're being an asshole? The third one had nothing to do with this clip, and in fact, this clip took place in July of 2020. So that's the this first one. This is my one. first suspension on Twitch. It has nothing to do with <laughs> oh, the reason really? why I was permanently banned on Twitch. Okay. It may have contributed to it in the long run, but it yes. is not the third strike and third and final ban on my Twitch channel. Okay. Now, in this clip. So look, if you were to die in your sins today, you would be sentenced to hell. If you were to die today in your sins, you would be sentenced to hell. That's why I said. Now, to this, I'm talking directly to this Muslim kid. By well, the way, you should probably people should. out there who call me racist for this incident, Muslim is a religion. It's okay. not a race. There are white Muslims, black Muslims, Asian Muslims, Arab Muslims. There's Muslims of all colors in the world. Okay. Religion. Not a race. Now, okay. me talking to this kid about religion, I, we don't have the full clip, and I don't really remember the whole conversation. Well, you said that the kid was going to go to hell. I mean, that's, like, fucked up. You know, like, no offense. I, I don't mean to be rude to any religious people, but, like, it's not a fact that religion is right. Like, there's nothing factual about it. There's no historical... Real, I mean, there's some historical stuff to uh, suggest that people lived <laughs> that you talk about, but it's not, like, a fact. You know what I mean? So you're like, oh, you're going to go to hell, Muslim kid. It's like, you guys have two different belief sets. Like, I understand trying to educate people on the gospel. That's totally cool. But, like, you don't need to tell him that he's going to go to hell. Because, basically, at this point, if you, you, you're you doing that to just invoke a, an emotional response. Like, you've you've lost um, <clears throat> your ability to articulate your position. So, you're just like, well, you know what? You're going to go to hell if you don't believe me. And, like, that's just fear-mongering bullshit. But I do know he was willing to hear about the gospel message, about what the Bible says, about what happens to us when we die. And when talking to him about it, he wanted to talk to me about what Muslims believe. And I was hearing it. And then I counter some of his points by trying to explain to him about that he was how Jesus is the son of God and how he fulfilled 300 plus prophecies in the Old Testament and this is proof and this is something Islam wants to deny. Well, it's, so not, a, first, it's not a proof. I mean, like, take it easy with the proof stuff, bro. Half of the video was me doing some apologetics with this kid. And I say a kid, and yeah, he, he sound, definitely sounded like a kid, but this kid was telling me about the Islamic faith and he sounded like he had a lot of good knowledge about it. So I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt and talk to him with a little bit more maturity. After doing some apologetics with this Somebody thing, in my chat said, your content is consistently unique, unbiased, and interesting. Love you, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. I mean, none of those things are true, but I appreciate it. <laughs> no, but thank you so much. I went back to the gospel message because I started talking to him about sin prior to that and what the consequences of sin oh, what is. is this video and the about? statement that I said about right here. So look, if you were to die... So if this was your first strike, why the fuck are you even really talking about it so much? And you even made the, 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 I just, I feel like I need to show this again to the Muslim kid. To the Muslim kid, you're, I'm sorry, but like, dude, what is, what is up with this? You would be sentenced to hell. Sounds terrible. And to be honest, I regret saying it like this. This yeah. was when I was fresh okay. into evangelism and not really having a lot of experience with I know he doesn't know what the kid's name is. I just feel like it just sounds dirty coming from him. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being too in intense on people it. about the gospel message. While what I said is true, it is definitely <laughs> not the right way to go about talking to a young individual that's yes. not in the faith about consequences y of sin. I yes. regret most definitely to But that was your first in one. This so. manner about the message. And for that, I'm sorry to this kid. I'm sorry to the Twitch community. I'm sorry to the YouTube community. I'm sorry for everybody that has. Seen I'm just gonna be honest. I don't think anybody really cares that much. Like, I, I mean, I'm interested because this guy's funny. To, 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 it's just stupid. But like, I feel like people aren't like super like, oh, Doctor Witness. Like nobody. We. He was like a meme on TikTok. People would make a joke about him, you know. And has judged me harshly because of it. And since then, I have grown and have changed the way I go about evangelizing to people. Now, what I would have told this kid, okay. if I were to go back and tell, do it all over again, God. is I would still talk to him about the message, and I would still talk to him about the consequence of sin being death, because that's what the Bible says. That's what God's word says. <laughs> that wouldn't have been all better. Sinners, we've all sinned against God's word. The consequence oh is death. God. But God loves us, and he's offered up his son. Jesus volunteered to come down and take that punishment from us so that we might be forgiven. 
if we turn from our sins. Sounds like Jesus is a little bit of BDSM. And trust in his son. And if we don't, we're in danger of the judgment. Abba, abba. Not I inheriting can't, I can't eternal wait. life. That's how I would explain it to him instead of saying, if you were to die today in your sins, you would go to hell. I wasn't saying that this kid was going to go to hell. Like, I, that's what it sounded like. That's what it said. But that's not what I meant. Well, that's what you meant. Like, the consequence you, of sin. You literally said, like, two seconds ago that it was true. It was just, like, rude, basically. And using him as the example of that. Oh, my was Lord. Was it a bad idea? Most definitely. Do I regret telling him the consequence of sin and about the gospel message? No, I do not. I would do it again. I would like to talk to that same kid again I, and re-explain it in a better uh, yeah, way. I would not like again, you to do that. I'm sorry to him and everybody else about the way I delivered the message to this kid. But I'm de definitely not sorry for spreading the gospel message and telling him about Jesus and the Bible and the truth of God's word. It was not tactful with the way I went about doing it. And I admit that. I'm not afraid to admit when I was wrong. But there are definitely a lot of people that have thrown a lot of hate in my direction and still think it's disgusting and hateful and wrong to hey, a little bit. people of other religions or even kids in general that they're going to go to the message of Jesus. But he didn't do that. He said he's going to hell. Like, people think it's bad that you tell people they're going to hell if they don't believe what you believe. Like, yeah, that's kind of bad, bro. Like, <laughs> and I'm never going to stop doing that. What? No matter how many times you write posts and send Twitter messages at me and Reddit posts about live stream fails, it doesn't matter what you guys say or do or write or throw at me. I'm never going to stop spreading the gospel message online, in games, ever. The gospel message needs to be spread out throughout the whole world, and everybody needs to hear it. Bro, this sounds super... Like, imagine being in a fucking squad with this guy in any game. Like, honestly, I'm trying to focus on the game, and you're fucking sitting here telling me about Jesus. I mean, hey, Jesus might have died for my sins, but unless he's going to die for me to get this fat fucking W, shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Was my method back in July of 2020 wrong? Yes. Have I changed? Yes. Am I sorry? Definitely. So I just wanted to clear that <laughs> You up. said yes and no in the beginning. Though. Like, yes, it was wrong. How I said it. But telling people about the gospel, including yes, young yes, Muslim yes. kids in Fortnite, is not wrong. It's we are told to spread the gospel message throughout the whole world. Okay. Very but my cool. delivery was definitely off, and I apologize for that. Switching gears now and talking about suing Twitch. Did I, I actually been Muslim in contact with a notable lawyer that I'm not going to say his name because I don't want him involved in this. But I have been in contact. What is it? The guy that defended OJ? Like what? I forgot what the guy's name is. is it, who's the notable lawyer? I feel like nobody's going to know. It might be a good lawyer. Like I had, I, I mean, I, you know, I know good lawyers, but nobody knows who the fuck they are. With a notable lawyer about this situation and what I can do in regarding discrimination, because I do believe in. I can't prove it as far as like I have evidence right Did in front I tell of me. Muslim but based off of the way Twitch is run and their uh, background, yeah, yeah. I believe I was definitely wrongly suspended from the Twitch platform because what I was doing was not any kind of hate. You told a kid that he's going to hell. People about the gospel, and that's like, the most for, loving thing. Whether you disagree for real. or not. Is the most loving thing you could possibly tell your fellow human. Like you didn't even do it in the fun way. You know what I mean? Like when I would used to play games a lot with people online, be like, "Fuck you, dude! You're going to hell. Suck a wiener." You know what I mean? Like that. That's what I would do. That's funny. You know what I mean? But he was like, like "You're actually going to die and go to hell." It's like, holy fuck! It's not even fun anymore, dude. You're not even trolling. There's a way you can be Rudy Giuliani's his lawyer. Holy and shit! And if you really love your fellow human being, I wouldn't doubt why it. Wouldn't you tell them that. Bro, I'd honestly come if it was Rudy Giuliani. That would be fucking hilarious. You're told, to, like I said earlier, to go and spread the gospel to every creature throughout the world. And that's exactly what... So go talk to a dog, bro. ...what I was doing. Had no hate involved at all. I often tell people also... I feel like Curly Daddy likes this guy. You know what I mean? Probably loves him. Curly Daddy's gonna change his whole platform to, like, going into fucking Rocket Ball or whatever games Curly plays and be like, Hey, did you, you know about... Yeah, can I uh, explain to you about Jesus... You know, so when they ask me controversial questions about homosexuality and everything, I also tell them, well, you have to love everybody. You can't hate anybody, but you don't have to love their sin. You don't have to destroy his brother their sin and support their sin. And that's the same with any kind of sin and everybody. Sure. The issue with the Twitch thing, though, is that this lawyer informed me that social Twitch is a social media platform yes. as well as YouTube. And unfortunately, they it's actually fortunately and unfortunately, they are protected significantly by laws that are in place from Congress. These laws help people, for instance, if some guy started a KKK stream and was like going around doing all that and, and that hate, obviously that's terrible. But if some guy had started the stream in a platform, obviously mm -hmm. that's hateful and disgusting. And that would give Twitch the right and the know-how to suspend their account, get rid of them off their platform, right? Why aren't or you focusing instance, on telling us like the second and third strike reasons? If someone wanted to throw 
a bunch of pornography on it. And you, that gives YouTube the right to take that content. <laughs> and not have it we did that for a while, bro. You remember the whole Amaranth thing? Uh, that happened. They did yeah, Twitch. Uh, they eventually took care of that. Get rid of it. That's good, right? Well, the other, the flip side of it is there's no. They get to be the judge for everything, and there's no governing there. There's no leash on them or nothing. So yeah. my firm belief in them discriminating against me based on my religious beliefs and my preaching. They have the right to do that, and there's laws in Congress that protect them because of that. Bottom line is I legally don't have a case against Twitch because in order for that to happen, laws would have to change. Now, I still hold firm that I was discriminated against. I think you could... I think that, like... Mm. So in his instance, uh, he actually... I feel like he does have a case, specifically because it, it he, he would claim... It's like religious, um, like religious, what do you call discrimination against him? But he was being an asshole, so it's. Somebody just said Amaranth is back wearing a fatherless outfit today. You guys are fucking incredible with the way that you express things to me. <laughs> I gotta take a look. But I feel like he could be. Um, I feel like he could be. Uh, <laughs> this is the fatherless outfit. Okay. I feel like he could be like have a, a case in that sense, though, and targeted specifically and for a reason. And Twitch didn't want me on their platform, and that's their right to do so. Nice, but I definitely think I was discriminated against for sure. I mean, come on, we have hot tub streams on Twitch, guys. We've seen people do drugs on Twitch, uh, shoot guns on Twitch, gamble on Twitch. I feel like we don't see those those two things. I've never seen anybody do drugs or shoot people. What the fuck? Hot tub streams. What are the other two strikes, bro? Come on, on Twitch. And those streams are still on there versus me going into a game telling Muslim people that they're going to hell. Yeah, you're right, bro. A Christian streamer <laughs> teaching people about the Bible. That's Got about it. as family friendly as you you're, can get. you're the Whether gaslighting you is so strong, bro. My gaslighting. Or not, and it's nowhere I saw that that was the only fan poster about it. like they did like the little the little nails thing. Gaslighting. I like that now. I'm a tea streamer. It's fun. They're near as offensive as a lot of the things we've seen on Twitch. So I am not pursuing legal action against Twitch at this time. But if laws were to ever change and to protect religious freedom and discrimination against people... Laws change, do exist, even if the laws change, though, that you wouldn't be protected because it happened before the law was instituted, brother. So it doesn't really matter. Nothing, nothing you're saying makes sense. Tell us the reason why you were banned. And speaking about their religion and witnessing to people on social media platforms, then it might be a different story. But we know the closer we get to Jesus Christ's second advent, the worse and worse the world is going to get. As the days of Noah, the Bible says. So I really don't think that's going to come around and I'm going to have any opportunity to do so and defend myself against discrimination from social media platforms. One big example is Donald Trump himself, the ex-president of the United States, being banned off of Facebook and Twitter, having all this money and all these followers. He's not back on the platform. He's not suing. He's not reinstated because there's laws protecting them from doing so. For my Adventist friends out there who have seen me witness to people and talk to people about going to hell or the punishment of hell, and you might be thinking, that's not Adventist theology. We don't just die and go to hell or heaven. And you're right. But when you're witnessing to people about the gospel and about the truth, the majority of the world believes that when you die, you go to heaven or hell right away and you burn forever. I witnessed to them with the world's base theology and then later on explain to them the truth about what hell really is. You don't go into deep theology about these things when they don't even know the basics of the gospel message. And All right, let's... Because I know that technically it's right because when you die, you're in the grave. Your next waking thought is the resurrection, and you'll have a new body. Bro, right? we'll I didn't come here for an education. I came here to find out why you feel you got bent. A, a black, dark, desolate earth, Satan claiming that he resurrected you and leading army to the new city of Jerusalem. So oh, 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 after that, And the wicked turn to ash, and then the, earth, the world is remade. So technically it's right when you tell them heaven or hell after you die. But they don't need to know that part of it yet. When they don't even understand the basics of salvation and following the law of God and the reasons why in the first place. We go into that deeper theology later on and as a follow-up. Sometimes I mention it while I would sing, sometimes I don't. It depends on the field of conversation. Usually, when it's talking to younger audiences, I don't really go into the whole specifics of hell and all that stuff because it's a younger audience and they might it might just go completely over their head. As advocates, you gotta take into consideration the way people that are in the world think about heaven and hell and what happens to you when you die. And you gotta explain it to them later on when they're more open to hearing more of the message. So when I'm ever on witnessing the people and planting seeds, it's not loading a bunch of this information all at once with advocate theology and what it really means when you die, what I really have to see when you die, and what hell really is. Sometimes I talk about that, sometimes I don't. Again, it depends on the person. So I, hate, I hope this clears things up. I hate that I have I to get through these things. Yeah. But for all the haters out there, I'm not going to stop spreading the gospel message and gamers, so you might as well buckle up, sit down, and get used to it. Thank you so much for listening. I hope this helped. Yo, they didn't you you didn't do any of the things you said. You didn't what are you talking about, bro? You didn't apologize at all. Um, but like, what I find interesting is that he he addressed the first stripe thing that got him banned. He didn't express the other two that got him banned. So like, that's us, bro. So I give you an A 
sus or an F sus instead of a plus. You get it? 